guys, welcome back to another TOEFL ITP, man. Today is a special, special edition. Man, for those of you listening to me in podcast form, know that you guys can get all of these episodes in the future if you tune into my early access. Now, if for those of you who want exclusive videos and more videos, you have to go into my TOEFL ITP badge. Now, this one is a special because I got a super fan. I got another super fan. I had someone follow me. I reached out to this individual and she said, oh my God, I found your podcast. I'm such a huge fan. And looking at her language, I'm like, oh my God, where are you from? She said, Thailand. I said, oh my God. I've never had anyone from Thailand give me so much grace. So big shout out to you, Natasha, I believe. Natasha, yeah, something like that. Yeah, big shout out to you. And today is your special day, as well as everyone else out there who may be watching this on a YouTube live or on the Facebook live, wherever it may be. Okay, so what we're going to be doing, <laughs> TOEFL, ITP, Speaking. No, there is no speaking. TOEFL ITP listening. All right. So TOEFL ITP listening. Part B. That's right, people. Longman complete test listening on YouTube. You already know. Okay. And today we're going to be talking about the recycling process. But before we get into that, Miss Natasha, one of my super fans, she said that she has difficulty in part B and part C following the conversation. However, I want you guys to know right now, remember, I've already talked about this throughout the last four months, that in this specific, this specific year, 2020, you can see the questions, okay? Now, I was telling her, hey, look, when it comes to the questions, you need to know which ones are the specific details and which ones you need to possibly pass by because you won't know all of the gist right off the back. Now, there are topic sentences and a thesis and a breakdown at the very beginning, but again, you just don't know, right? So if we look at number one, that's what it is. What is the topic of the talk, okay? Now, A, soft, warm clothing. That sounds like specific details, right? B, problems in landfills, perhaps. C, how fleece is obtained, maybe or recycling soda bottles, okay? Now, what I'm gonna do here, for those of you listening to me, go to my Instagram, tag me in the podcast, go to Spotify, share it, and say my answers are this, 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 and this. I'm giving no answers here. I'm giving ideas. That's right, on this podcast, this video, I'm doing it. If you're watching this on Facebook, comment down below. If you're watching this on YouTube, get to Instagram because I've disabled everything on YouTube. There are just too many trolls out there. I have no time for trolls, okay? And then, uh, for those of you who are obviously watching on IGTV, just comment down below when you see the video. Boom, because this is gonna be going up immediately. So let's get into this. Huh, what is the general gist, okay? We might hear specific details at the beginning, but does that mean it's the main idea? Be careful with that. Number two, it says, in the past, what commonly happened? Key phrase, in the past, what happened? Left in landfills, reuse, recycle, refilled. Those are the words you're listening for. I'm gonna be stopping it along the way. Number three, what could be made out of the soda bottles? Dye. Warm, soft clothing, computer chips, glass bottles. Computer chips, that sounds really ridiculous, but you never know. And number four, what does the speaker recommend? Buying plastic bottles? Solving the problems in landfills? Buying these recycled products? Becoming aware of the environment. Ooh. So with that being said, let's listen to this, and we're going to follow this, all right? So here we go. By a woman. Did you know that those large plastic soda bottles that are so common today can actually get recycled into soft, warm, cuddly jackets and blankets with the feel of fleece? These bottles have generally been dumped into landfill rather than recycled. But now that's beginning to change. In this recycling process, the bottles are... Okay, okay, here we go. She didn't, it, okay, wow, that was number one and number two right off the back. So what she had said was they were normally mm, and dumped into landfills. I'm going to rewind Gathered that just a little bit. Gathered at the have generally been dumped into landfill rather than recycled. 
These bottles have generally cuddly jackets and blankets with the feel of fleece. One more time. One more These time. bottles have generally been dumped into landfill rather than recycled. Ah, past perfect. I got it. Okay, so she did reference the past. Okay, I picked it up. Had been dumped into landfills and never recycled. That's what had been, ha I'm sorry, that's what happened in the past. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that there. If you guys are watching this, good. If you're listening to this, okay, you might have to refer back to the questions or go to my blog, thearseniobuckshow.com, okay? Now, looking at that number two, all right, we're understanding. Now, problems in landfills, not exactly for number one. How fleece is obtained, not exactly number uh, one. So we like recycling soda bottles or soft warm clothing. What exactly is it we have to continue going? We're going to go into number three. What could be made out of the soda bottles? But now going. that's beginning to change. Okay. In this recycling How? process, the bottles are gathered at a plant, cleaned, and then crushed into tiny chips. The chips are melted and then shaped into long threads. These threads are spun into yarn and knit into cloth. It can then be dyed and made into fabric. The outcome of this process is a soft and it, warm... It, it, could, well, 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 it could be dyed and made into fabric. What could be made out of this? It could be dyed, not dye. It could be dyed and made into fabric. So, again, it's referring back to clothing, okay? Because she said yarn, and then she said fabric. So, again... Computer chips, it can be crushed into it. It's just, it's a process. Now, glass bottles, it wasn't mentioned. But first were the chips. They didn't, she didn't say computer, though. She didn't say computer. She said chips, okay? So computer chips, gone. Glass bottles, gone. Then, I'm going to play that From one From cloth last time. made into fabric to yarn and knit into cloth. Long threads. Yarn. These threads are spun into yarn and knit into cloth. It can then be dyed and made into fabric. The outcome. That's all clothing. Thread, yarn, fabric, that all relates to clothing. Let's continue. Let's go to number four. Some of this process is a soft and warm cloth that can be made into items of clothing or blankets. It seems rather incredible that plastic soda bottles can be turned into something so soft and warm. I think that all of you should look for some of these products in stores and purchase them. They are great products, and they are great for the environment at the same time. Look for these products in the store. So becoming aware of the environment, buying these recycled products, solving the problems in landfills, or buying plastic bottles. Okay? So, again, referring back to the beginning, what is the topic of the talk? Is it about problems in landfills? No, there aren't problems in landfills. It's how the bottles would be recycled by, by being dumped into landfills. So that there's no problem in it. There's a problem by people dumping something in it. Okay? How fleece is obtained, it, not obtained, made would, would be okay. How fleece is made, that could have been good. But there's no made, there's obtained. Okay? Recycling soda bottles or just soft and warm clothing? So you have A and D. You have A and D. I, I hurry up and dumped out B and C. I followed that talk. So again, she talked, you know, she started off with mentioning, okay, did you know that you could do this and do that and do this? So again, there weren't problems in the landfills. It wasn't about fleece being obtained, perhaps being made, but she did not say made. She said obtained. I mean, not obtained. She didn't... Oh my God, she didn't say, she didn't say made or obtain, who cares? Recycling soda bottles or soft, warm clothing. Is it about soft, warm clothing or is it about how it is made? And again, what commonly happened before? We already established that one. What could be made out of soda bottles? It didn't mention computer. She didn't mention glass bottles. She said you could put dye in it, but she mentioned fabric, 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 fabric the entire time. And then after that, what did she recommend? She recommended going into the stores and buying some of these products because they're very good and they're useful for the environment. 
It's not becoming aware of the environment by buying the products, no. So remember how she uses the words. In D, it says becoming aware of the environment. No, we are now aware of the environment. Buying the products doesn't necessarily mean we are becoming aware of the environment. Got it? Buying plastic bottles? But it depends what you do with those plastic bottles. So that doesn't make any sense. Solving the problems in landfills? There are no problems in landfills. It's the people who dump the plastic bottles into the landfills. So see, buying these recycled products. For the answers, I want you guys to put those answers in. Of course, I've already broken down each and every individual question. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to begin doing this even more because I know a lot of you, oh my God, my podcast get anywhere between 200 and like 2,000 plays now. Um, because you guys have to be able to follow the conversation. The, this is what I call technique building. And it's extremely difficult, especially with the tests that are out right now. I completely agree, but there's a way to do it. I'm going to break it down even more. And if you guys are interested, there is a TOEFL ITB badge affordable for anyone out there that is, affor uh, that is available. There is one-on-one -on -one coaching, or if you have friends, there's group coaching. Okay. So get in touch with me. Or if not, again, comment, put, post your answers down below and recommend me what you would like me to focus on in regards to TOEFL ITP, written structure, error, uh, the, the reading, or more listening. Let me know what you guys think and I'll be waiting. So again, hope that makes sense. Hey guys, about following it, asking the right questions. But this do it at specific moment. I completely understand. And that's the little snippet that I kind of direct people because there are a number of different techniques that I put out there to help individuals, right? But it's all about saying, okay, well, she didn't mention fleece. Okay, well, she didn't say there. It's not about landfills. It's about, okay, developing soft warm clothing from what? Recycling soda. Bar. Oh, and then after that, it just goes down and down and down. Were they recycled? So, Generally in the past, they were, mm, and she mentioned landfills. So that could have been easy. And then what could be made from that? You can't necessarily make dye from plastic bottles. You could use dye to continue making the fabric. Got it? And then what does the speaker say in the end? Buying these products. So you could, you know, buying these products because they're very good for the environment. It's not about becoming aware about it. And it's, you sure as hell don't want to buy plastic bottles. You see what I'm saying? Eliminate those bad answers, process of elimination. So one hour consultations for TOEFL ITP are available. Natasha, you got one yourself. That's gonna be coming up real soon. So excited about that for everyone else out there. You guys better wait and tune in. I'm your host as always. Stay tuned for more over and out.